Hey everyone, welcome back to another weekly stream. Um, today we're going to continue with the painting. I am a little bit tired. Uh, it was a really long work day. But as promised, we will continue with the streams weekly. So um, you guys can come by and say hi and um, yeah, maybe also draw along, paint along. So I hope you all are going to enjoy the stream and yeah. Good evening, Murad. Good evening, Oliver. How are you doing? Did you have a good day? Oh. Do do I had a very, very long day. All right. Yeah, as you can see, I um, painted a little bit on the painting um, from the last time. Um, by the way, please give me feedback if the uh, how the audio is. If I'm not too loud and if the music is also okay. Yeah, so um, from the last time I basically added um, foliage. Oliver can't complain, all right, then it's good. <laughs> um, yeah, so I basically added um, foliage and um, I also worked a little bit on the focal point. Um, changing the outfit of the guy um, because I felt he wasn't too prominent he should be more prominent and uh, yeah um, but I think he's not done and I also worked a little bit here I added also a little bit of foliage here um, but also there we need to add a little bit of photometric shadows and I would also add more light um, in general I also darkened this part here because it grabbed a lot of attention so um, like doing it like this it felt better because it's basically framing and keeping the eye more in inside um, it's a little bit like a vignette but not too strong because we have the light on the ground so I felt it, it was okay um, yeah that's the starting point for today and uh, let's let's jump right into into the process <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. all right again if i'm not too talky today i'm really tired also got my second vaccine yesterday, so it's probably because of that. So again, if you have any questions, concerns, um, feel free to ask. Um, or Feel free to draw along, paint along, as usual, on every stream. Hey Chris, um, thanks for the host. <laughs> Thank you. Hey Sasha, welcome to the stream. How are you all doing? It's 
So we're going to going to give him a little bit more attention. Making sure the rim light is not too strong. Because if you make it too thick it looks cartoony. We don't want that. But I uh, um, I don't regret the choice to give him more of a red costume because I felt like it also resembles a little bit the red we have in the guy who's going to attack him. Um, I was just curious maybe if it's it's really about readability here. So it also reads pretty good when we flip the image. But I believe we can make it a little bit more, give him a little more volumetric shadow here. Is that the right layer? Yes. Basically, we want to give him more contrast. That's also why the um, it was planned that the people behind him have some sort of white clothing on them. So um, he gets really very strong um, back to back uh, contrast here. Maybe we give him also a little bit more warm light. Hey Dave, welcome to the stream. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> I, I'm I'm not a master, I would say. I'm in the making. I'm just uh, trying to have fun as much as I can. It's also, it, it, it changed a lot over the years. Um, like when you do it as a job, in the beginning you wanted, you, you can wait for the moment that it becomes your job. But when it's there and you're going to draw and paint every day, um, and then it, it, it's very weird. Hey Wippo, uh, welcome to stream, thanks for the Twitch follow. Um, it's very weird when you start to um, when you start to 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 uh, I don't know I cannot really explain it. You get this weird feeling of you want to do something for your own, but you basically so creatively empty after working like eight to nine hours. Um, <laughs> so I'm just happy that we do those streams, even though that it's sometimes like really hard for me because I'm just tired after after work. Um, but I just love to to push myself also so we are basically um, yeah just producing stuff and trying to have fun as much as possible what are you all doing <laughs> thanks Chris <laughs> hey Cameron welcome to stream yet if we uh, we continued um, with the image it's never going to stop Let's see how long we can paint on that image. Um, that's the wrong little layer, yeah. We need to paint a little bit behind the guy. It's also maybe something we can do to tonight is um, technically we could start to um, also paint a little bit of the people behind them. And I was, the thing is like, I wanted to add a little bit more here in this mid, in this mid ground to make it more, um, lively you know and on the older version of the image i had a dog chasing a pigeon here um so i'm not um i'm not sure if i'm going to do something like that maybe it could be a nice addition but it's again it's always um we have to find a way that we don't draw the attention too much away from the focal point which is basically the guy in red lady in red i'm sorry um, yeah, so we have to um, make sure that everything is kind of harmonious together. I wonder also, hmm, I think I give him a little bit more contrast here. Maybe also let's... Dun 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 dun. Let's merge him here and save him for later. So that's what I always do. I basically just um, duplicate the stuff. And then I group it and I 
save a background for later if we need it. It always, it's always good because you never know if you want to change stuff. And now what we can try is maybe I can use the level slider to see. Also here we turn it to grayscale and now we see if we can push the contrast on him a little bit better. So the, you see now what I'm doing is basically he is he's kind of okay but the thing is the values of the horse are very competing with him. So what we want to do we wanted to give him a little bit more um, we want to add a little bit more contrast to him so he's more popping. Now we switch it back and it's and we need to make sure that it's 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 not too too dark so that like his shadow parts are not becoming too black because what we eventually doing we add more black to him but I think now it's even better because now he's directly popping and I wonder if we can oh what is that here yeah. I painted that I get out of my image yeah all right and what we can also do and you see like what is helping his readability if if we place him correctly because what we did we use also here the slight part which is basically creating some sort of like guidance for the eye bringing him down and also using light versus dark so everything really needs to to bring the eye to him it's absolutely essential um, yeah, and it always makes sense to give him a good amount of detail so that he is um, so uh, so that he that we make sure that he really gets gets the most attention. Oops. we also need to make sure that ambient occlusion shadows and volumetric shadows everything is here we also need to clean up his shoes and everything and always zooming in zooming out to see how it looks from far and what I like also more about this costume is um, the reference the guy had a little bit of a belly which gives him not only more um, like geometric form but also having him more space in front where the light is dropping on we can add more contrast to that also also everything plays together when it comes to materials and how reflective is the stuff you know and some of the stuff we don't even need to um, we don't need even to to paint so detail but like he at least needs to have a good amount of detail um, mm -mm -mm -mm. how do you get the brush teeth at the bottom I painted them This one here, do, do you mean this one? This, this I painted on last stream. Um, if you go back to it's just, uh, I basically just painted the shapes. If you watched the last video. Um, I used a couple photos, yeah, definitely. Um, for example, him is partially a photo um, from the horse, partially a photo. Um, there are a couple photos and also for the foliage and everything, it just saves time, but you, usually don't directly use the photo um, because you can't and also um, I'm always changing and adapting the stuff because it's just part of the habit of concept artist um, but yeah also if you go back to the other videos before you're going to see that we we basically added photo deleted stuff added more and that is really going on and on and on um, Oh, 
Oh, you feel tired, Dave. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Annie Cat, how's it going? <laughs> oh, in person, similar guy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, we can also continue a little bit with the light here on him, just to give him a little bit more volumetric light. percent looks fine to me. Wait, what's going on? Um, okay. And the cool thing, what we're going to do at the end is we're going to add. Um, oops. What was the other one? We're going to add um, particles also, just for light area. So. Um, things like this help also to give some sort of density in the atmosphere. So if you have a very diagonal flat light in the scene, um, and if you go outside, like right now here in Berlin, for example, you have this, wall, this um, very small poles flying around everywhere. And when they get caught by light, you, they create this sparkle effect. So the sparkle effect is really, really nice just to push your image also a little bit more to the next level in believability. But that's something we're going to do at the end. Okay. <clears throat> what we can do now, we can refine a little bit the ground here. Oh, there's actually something I wanted to try. Because uh, when I went for buying my dinner a couple of hours ago, I saw like ex the exactly same the exact same light situation as we have it here, and I saw some nice effect which were basically bounce light, and then it were like small little um, round light dots, and I saw that and I just wanted to try it see how it looks actually. It's maybe not the right color. Let's try it again. Or maybe let's try a different brush. So it better like that is already too bright. <clears throat> it was very subtle. Like this. But the thing is like, we need to be careful also that we don't draw too much attention. Should have taken a photo, that would be smart.
What we can also do, we can take a little bit of the stuff we already established here. Example this. And let's try to add it here. Mm -hmm. Let's shrink it down. Flip it. There's a good layer mode for this. Maybe darken. So what I don't want is I don't want the blacks to be too dark. Because then we have too much contrast again. Okay, let's try normal then. Let's try normal. Also, we need to scale it correctly so it's not too big. Okay. Making it a little bit brighter. Hey Shinran, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Twitch stream. So, if you establish a certain area in your image and there are things you can recycle, always do that because it just saves a lot of time. And of course, try not to overdo it because then it becomes dangerously repetitive. But um, if you have Stuff like foliage, um, yeah, you can always, you can always double use it, triple use it. Okay, but the shadow area is a little bit too dark here, so we need to brighten that up. Always, I hide that, then I zoom out. Now I take the level slider. Let's make it a little bit brighter. Yeah, like this, for example. Now we go back to grayscale. See, and if I take it like it is, like the, the black parts are again competing too much in contrast with this uh, focal point. So now what we just do, uh, unfortunately you um, cannot see the level slider here, but um, I'm basically using the level slider and I'm just shifting the white closer to the black one. And it just adds more white to the image. Then we just try to, to match that. So it's not competing too much. So maybe some like that. Let's go back to color. Yeah, it looks looks decent. So that's before, after. Boom. Ship it. Okay, now we do we merge it with the normal layer and now we start to paint over it and we work out a little bit of the nice shapes we already had Oops. Ah, come on so we can also add a little bit of here of the flowers just little strokes indicating okay there's some sort of flowers as well We don't need to over detail the stuff. We can really, you see that's a very simple brush I have here. It's basically a round hard brush, which is squeezed a little bit into a certain shape. Um, and that we can use for foliage. So. Oh, what is here? Where is that layer here? That's ah, because we have light here. Okay, um, we need to make sure that we not going to pick the wrong thing here. Yeah. So where is this one? Again, it's here. And then 
turn the light back on, give it a red, just give it a red color. So we, um, I like to do, I usually give my, my shadow layers a blue color and my light layers a red one. So it's easier to manage my layers. All right, let's continue with this one. So again, zooming out, see how it looks. Looks fine. Does not draw too much attention. Let's flip the image. Uh-huh, it's okay. Oh, um, I have to read the chat. I completely, I always forget to read the chat. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, Blackburn, welcome to the stream. Thanks a lot. <clears throat> okay, let's connect the foliage to the ground also. So that looks too artificial. Then we also have a little bit of stuff here, so we can actually what we can do, we can again turn the light off. This is on the background here, so what we can do, we can maybe paint a little bit of the stuff out. I'm gonna take a different brush. Also, a little bit of a gradient here. Looks like graffiti. It looks okay. Maybe let's clean this up here as well. Yeah, at a certain point it's more it becomes more of a cleaning cleaning process. Well, readability is fine. a little bit of this stuff here as well. Oh, where is this? So let's go up a little bit more here. Light. That's also atmosphere. It's the foreground guy. Uh, there's too much. Let's see, let's just use a... Let's use a painterly brush here. Just stroking in some stuff. Not too fancy, just adding the stuff a little bit here. So we can break the silhouette also a little bit. different values here on the ground so we need to work a little bit more on this <clears throat> again if you have any questions just um, feel free to ask or if you want to I don't know share how your day was or feel free to do so also on the weekend we're going to have the feedback session um, 
I'm not very sure how I'm going to do the selection process. So I probably do some sort of like um, randomizer. I guess that would be the would make the most sense and also is more fair to, for everyone. Okay, that works so far. I wonder, I later had an idea if, how it would look if we would add some sort of wooden cart behind the horse. <clears throat> but I'm not sure if that's going to work either. So let's take a very bright, Medium brown, okay. Hmm. And if there would be some sort of stand or something. Because I feel like the part behind the horse, there could be, here could be something, but I'm not sure if that would work properly. Let's, I don't know, sketch in, let's sketch in something quickly. Just to see. What could be here? <laughs> no, I don't like that. Maybe a second horse. We can also uh, take this guy and sitting in here. <laughs> yeah, let's let's keep him here. That looks cool. Um, where's the horse? Here's the horse. I mean, we could. I don't know, maybe fake a second horse, but I don't, I don't know. Not so sure about that. Sorry, little one. Let's, you can go here if you want. Yeah, you can go there. Nah, no. Wonder if we should make him a little bit darker here. So I think that's fine. Okay. Let's try some stuff for the people here in the back. So before we take reference, um, let's just sketch in some stuff. Just to see what could work. There's a guy on a horse. Maybe just walking. This guy is standing here, thinking about his life. 
Or maybe he just needs to go to the toilet. Okay, let me let me quickly go for an image search here. <laughs> Does your cat come on? Um, This is pretty cool here. Yeah? Okay, let's try these for the people. So maybe not the red one. Thanks. That's that's cool. That's a good feedback. Okay, let's also take this guy out for a second. Um, let's just take her. He looks also very cool. I like the blue colors also what we can do we don't need to paint too much over them we just blur them looking at the beautiful horse So now it's really a try and error, not committing too much, but just checking what could work, what not. It's also completely normal just to to try stuff and then to, to realize, okay, maybe it doesn't work it that well. I'm not sure if I like her so much. Checking that it's not competing. Maybe they 
should be a little bit brighter in general. Yeah, like this, this is better. So now you see I made it brighter again. <clears throat> I took more black out, added more white, so to speak. And that makes the readability still keeps it on him. But we also need to integrate them properly into the environment. So they receive some sort of volumetric light, of course, because there's a lot of bounce light going around. And we can check how, how big they are, how tall they are. To make sure the scale is all right. Let's flip this. Can we look darker behind them? So I'm just lazy and merge it now. And if you hear any clipping noise, it's my keyboard. I'm banging the keyboards. What do you mean with photo bush? Is that something specific? Tips for efficient image search. Um, yeah, definitely check and uh, definitely use Google images, but set the image on large before um, Pinterest and um, Lightshot. Lightshot is an is an program you can you can download. It's free. I can write it here. And the cool thing about Lightshot, it's called Lightshot. Did it work? Ah, yeah. Hello. Come on. So it's it's called Lightshot here. That's the name of the program. Just Google it and it's actually a screen capture tool. So um, it's for like saving, uh, copying things, but it has a little Google button. And what I really like to do is um, if I make a concept, for example, and I establish the first look, the first colors of the image with um, adding light and everything. And if I then use this Google button, it looks through Google for all the images which look similar to my image, which basically does research for me and gives me good reference when it comes to light and color. So um, that's definitely efficient. <laughs> Thanks, Oliver. I very much appreciate it. What are you all doing? I hope you all had a good day. Oh, let me get a sip of water. It's already 45 minutes and time flies by today. Thanks, Kaman, for sharing. Oh, cool. What kind of video?
All right. Oh, I really have to drink more. I feel like my, okay, do you know that when you don't drink too much and then your eyes get itchy, like they get very dry because you have them open the whole time. Ciao, come on, have a good one. Oh, nice, that, that sounds cool. That sounds nice. Right, let's, um, where was I? Ah, yeah, on the people in the back. People on the back. So, you can technically also smudge some edges here and there. And we don't have to, like, they don't need to be so super detailed. Because you're probably not going to see them from far away. But they need a cast shadow, man. Okay, um, so we could think, yeah, maybe we, <laughs> no, I don't want him. You are dismissed. Okay, let's look for more reference. Maybe some bright costume or someone with the back, like where we see the back, like walking away from us could be nice. Or Mm hmm. Oh, a guy in a white shirt. That's also cool. All right, that's because um, that's what I wanted to have behind him. Okay, let's take this boys here. So let's try subject select, maybe it works. Oh, perfectly. I mean, they could be his entourage. But maybe at least two of them could be. Where is this here? Ah, oh, okay. Also kind of cool that they all look to the to the side where the horse is standing. It's like they look around the corner, <laughs> like a car is coming. Hello. Okay, let's separate them. Oops. Okay. So definitely I like this this guy here. So maybe we also take this one out here. Yeah? Just for now. 
Looks a bit too random. So it has to look natural, so if we put them all like standing there, it looks awkward. So it doesn't make too much sense. But what I actually want, I just want his white shirt. So we have the dark versus light contrast. Maybe she's looking at him. Like, oh, who's this handsome fella? There's the other one. Is the other one actually better? Actually, kind of better. But we need to also clean up this, this here. Same, same thing. First of all, we add a little bit of shadow to him. Oh, did I just close that? into shadow but he also gets a little bit of bounce light Goodbye, Oliver. Have a good one. Hey, Milky. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, give it a try. It's it's pretty good program. It's very useful. Okay. Have a good one. Okay. Okay. Let's see, fella. could also make his shirt a little bit busy receiving light. Again, it's not important about the guy, it's important about the, the bright value. Let me move him up a bit. So I have to make him a bit warmer. Yeah. Put 
also he's a bit too contrasty. So same game here. Taking blacks out. Yep, much better. So we can also maybe add a little bit of this light here on him just to have our focal point because he's basically stepping into the light, right? So his foot is, should be pretty bright. Dun, 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 dun. Let's try something. Maybe can I paint with white over that? Oh, I, ah, that's why I have linear dodge on the whole time. Okay, it makes sense now. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 